are going to see this question inheritance yeah this is the second question in this op of J js series yeah so here what they are saying add an area method to rectangles prototype okay means we can't change this portion so here they have created one class that is rectangle and they have created the constructor of the rectangle class where they are taking width and height and they are saving this both into this dot w this dot eh yeah and then what we have to do yeah here they have written what we have to do in the comments but we will see later that here they are creating the object of rectangle and they are passing 3 and 4 and here they are calling rect dot area means object dot area and we have to they we have to return the area in that function okay <coughs> so we here they have created rectangle but we have to write the area method okay so we can write we can manage to write area method outside the class okay so we'll see how we can write okay so first of all class name dot prototype and what is the function name function name is area okay and we have to write the function okay and in this function what we have to return we have to return area what is the formula of area of rectangles i think we will return this dot w star this dot eh as this method this area method is of class of this rectangle class we can directly uh, means we can directly access these variables width and height and directly we can return this in the return the multiplication of width and height okay so this is the first thing means we have created a function of area in rectangle class <coughs> and now what we have to do the second part we have to create a class of square yeah we have to write the class of square okay i will remove this so now we have to write class square okay means square is inheriting the rectangle class okay so square extends extends rectangle class okay now we have to write the constructor here if we think that area of both square and rectangle are square uh, same because they have both four sides and like height and width but uh, <coughs> in square all the sides are same okay so means in square uh, width is also 3 and height is also 3 okay so that's why we will create a constructor in this constructor we are getting only one side okay but we have to pass this one side into the super class that is this super class constructor w and h so i will write here super and we have to pass this side two times because this constructor have two arguments and it will take two arguments that's why we are passing here side and side two times two as a two arguments that's why and uh, area method is the same for what we have written for rectangle uh, so then we don't have to write the area method again for the square class now we will run the code yeah it is working so that's the thing about inheritance we have inherited the rectangle class and this is important why we have written this super and in this super we have passed one argument two times because squares uh, width and height is same in square that's why we have written that okay so that's the thing thank you